CloudTrail Lake is a managed audit and security lake that allows you to aggregate, immutably store, and query your activity logs for auditing, security investigation, and operational troubleshooting. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the queries which I frequently use as a sample whenever there is a security incident needs to be investigated. Let's go through these queries which are quite commonly used and which you can customize as per your requirement and your security incident. The first query which you can see on the screen is run on the um, data lake and I will show you the output shortly but let's first understand what this query is doing. This query is aimed at obtaining the specific activity that was performed by the access key during a specific time window. Either successfully or not, it doesn't matter, but we are just interested in the operation performed. And what we are looking for is that during this specific time window, when this access key in AWS was used, whether any malicious activity took place or not. So what we can do, we can find um, the event first seen from guard duty finding in AWS Security Hub or individually from guard duty, and also the event last seen, which will define the time window of this query. And then we can also fetch some other artifacts, but let's focus on this query for now. Now, let me display the output of this query so that you would understand it better. So this is the output of this query when we ran it in the CloudTrail data lake. This result demonstrates that the activity performed by the access key tried to unsuccessfully list Amazon S3 buckets and cloud trails. We can also specify a write activity related to AWS IAM that was denied, and afterwards, there was activity possibly related to reconnaissance tactics in the IAM to finally be able to assume a role, which indicates a possible attempt to perform an escalation of privileges. Also remember that you can observe only one source IP from this activity was performed. So quite valuable in any security incident. Now let's go back and check out the second query. Now if you look at the second query, this is to confirm which IAM role was assumed by the threat actor during the specific time window. As you observed from the previous query result, the threat actor was able to assume an IAM role. But in this second query, you would like to confirm which IAM role was assumed during the security incident. And let me quickly show you the output of that query. So now, as you can see from this output, the result show that an IAM role named Alice was assumed in a second account. For now, by using this query, it becomes quite easy to pinpoint what exactly is happening. Okay, now let's go to the third query. Investigating uh, the incident only from the time of discovery may result in overlooking signs or indicators of potential past incidents that were not detected related to the threat actor. For this reason, you want to expand the investigation time window which might result in expanding the search back weeks, months, or even years, depending on factors such as the nature and severity of the incident, available resources, and so on and so forth. So in this example, for balance and urgency, the window of time search is expanded to a month. So what we are trying to see here, that we are trying to look through this query, the activity performed from an IP address in the time frame of month. Okay, and we might also check it that if this um, activity was related to the IP which we saw earlier. So as you can see on the screen, um, the query is also referring to the IP address and the source IP address. Now let's quickly have a look at the output of this query. So let me quickly switch the screen so that you will be able to see the output of this query. Okay, so as you can see that we are unable to see, um, sorry, we are we are to see the account ID from which this IP was accessed. Okay, that's cool. Now, 
let's check the next example okay in query number four you can see that what we are trying to do we are checking that activity performed from an ip address in any other account in our organization during a specific time window this is similar to what we saw earlier but this is with the time frame which was shown in this one as you can see here in this query okay now also look at this screenshot from the output it is showing us the account id from which was that data accessed by the threat actor so pretty useful uh, information which has been gleaned from the cloud trail okay cool now let's go back and check the next query now in this query number five we want to count and group activity based on api actions that were performed in each service by the role assume this query helps you quantify and understand the impact of possible unauthorized activity that that might have have happened in the second account so if you look and sorry let me scroll down a bit so that you would be able to see the query okay so again uh, you can see that we are using the group by and order by command here right. okay let me show you the output of this command and let me switch to the output of this query so this is a group by and order by and as you can see that the results are pretty evident and we observed that the activity is consistent what was shown in the first account and the threat actor seems to be targeting cloud trails s3 bucket and iam activity related to possible further escalation of privileges so the idea of these queries and the output is to show you that you can use aws cloud trail lake capabilities to investigate cloud trail activity in response to security incident across your organization and you can use these sample queries to build your own queries to try out different scenarios so i would highly suggest that you try it out if your organization says security focus but remember that cloud trail lake is not free you pay for ingestion and storage together where the billing is based on amount of uncompressed data ingested uh, but if you are new to the cloud trail you can try it out for a 30 day free trial or 5 gb of data which is basically quite low but anyway maybe you can talk to your uh, tam or any aws representative to give you more free credits i hope this was interesting and would uh, trigger you to start using cloud trail lake for any cloud trail auditing thank you